morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, whichever part of this great planet you reside in. Welcome to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching Nature Nell. And if you're new to my channel, where have you been? I've been around for a while now. <laughs> and this is a great, great episode today because it's one of the ones I've been awaiting. Quick Tent, the Quick Tent family, where they create these amazing, um, portable tents that you can uh, build yourself at home they're easy to build as a matter of fact I've been looking into it and it doesn't seem so hard especially when you have somebody else building it for you like my partner Lewis and his friend Francisco are on their way now with a truck load of pebbles to level out the ground and after that they're gonna start building it up which I am so so excited now with that said I want to gift you guys a tent um, I'm sorry a quick tent greenhouse uh, which quick tent is being so generous to extend an extra one for my viewers so this is the episode where I will give you the instructions on what you need to do in order to participate for the giveaway so stick to the end I will explain everything in detail but for now let's go see them build that tent I have no idea how this is gonna go but I am Today, I'm really, really excited. I'm usually excited to show you my blooms, but this is something so different that I've been looking forward to bringing it to you. So without further ado, let's go build a tent or let's go build a quick tent. <laughs> oh, wait, somebody's coming to say hi. I know you gotta have your 15 minutes of fame. This is Morris, this is my little boy, and he always needs to make an appearance. Say hi to your, your fans. You got a lot of fans out there, booby. <laughs> All right, guys, no more pussyfooting. Let's go build a quick tent. <laughs> and here they come with the pebbles. It's amazing how people can still go through my yard after all these trees I planted. We're taking some avocados with us. <laughs> and there's all the soil. I thought they were gonna get pebbles. All right, folks, so, so far, this is what we've got. Uh, we're laying out the, the actual sand to create a balance on the ground so that way everything is nice and leveled. But we didn't anticipate that we needed this much sand. <laughs> so they went off to go get more and I did some cleaning up around here. I raked all against the fence around here was full of leaves which I am not supposed to be doing because of my back situation but hopefully my Pilates instructor is not watching this <laughs> but I was very careful doing this I wasn't uh, over exhausting it so I created two little piles here as you can see of leaves it was a lot of leaves and um, now just wait for the boys to get back
Ay, papá, no está confundida la cosa, ¿no? Bueno, unos funcionan mejor, mejor que otros, ¿no? Pero ¿por qué? Si es la misma. Ah, ¿Te ves eso? Ya, 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 ya. ya. So guys, it is finished. Well, let's just say it's 95% finished. <laughs> they did a nice little base around the edges. Um, I encourage them to go get some rock, pebble rocks, so we can create a nice trimming around it. And at the same time, we did alter it a little bit. We did our own little alterations just to make sure that it's safely snugged in there. So all the um, edges of the tent are being held down by sand and rock. So for this to be lifted, I mean, it would take a lot. And just so you can see inside, it's quite big. And look how easy it is, guys. This tent is really awesome. <laughs> it is so cool in here. There, let me show you. And I gotta tell you, the temperature in here is exactly the same as outside. There's no difference. There's a lot of light, as you can see. That's where the sun comes in. We haven't even cut the branches because we wanted to see how much light emits through here, uh, even with the branches. And I gotta tell you, it's really, really bright. So, and I want this mainly for my Philanopsis and probably bubble films because I can control the water. This stuff is like super, super uh, rain safe. There's definitely no water coming in here. It has little windows that roll up. It has a back door and it has windows on this side. So the airflow here is amazing. I can feel it flowing through. As you can see, even the door is swinging and it has a double, like you can seal it from inside. And if I want to drop the second door, it seals it completely. So I gotta say, I am super, super happy with this. Honestly, I wanna bring in a little bed, a little table with my computer <laughs> and camp out. <laughs> We're still gonna do some more alterations, like we'll probably do a little uh, wooden st uh, step in area here. And I, I'm thinking I'm just going to leave the sand inside. It's really comfortable in here to walk. And what I like about sand, you can move it around to level things out. So once I buy all my wood and more cinder blocks, I think it's going to be perfect. All right, let's go back outside. The guys did a great job putting this together. It took... Um, it's right now about three o'clock. They started around 11. So I would say four, maybe five hours to do the whole thing. I don't think it's bad at all. So once, once we finish the little stepping area here and finish off the doorway and detail it and I put, start decorating inside, that will be for another video. So, what do you guys think? I'm super, super stoked. <laughs> and I love that it's very transparent in, the, in a way that a lot of light can go in. It's pretty big too, bigger than I expected.
we put it right up against the fence because we didn't want to take too much of our walkway and we do drive our vehicles through here sometimes when we need to like as you can see back there we're downloading the rest of the rocks because we did have a lot of leftover rocks little house on the prairie so quick tent i hope we made you proud we we are proud <laughs> of what we were created here i mean i'm just like i want to sleep out here now I'm, I'm serious i just want to sit here and look at it all night long i'm going to put little bistro lights inside so that's going to make it really cute i have so many ideas <laughs> so guys i gotta tell you if you're thinking about getting one of these it's a little work a little muscle work of course we went a little step above and beyond because um we weren't just going to build a tent and place it there if you have a very leveled ground you wouldn't probably have to do everything we did i mean we went like this is we really wanted to make it firm and make sure that if we get a storm or anything that it will hold well all right All right, guys, that is it. We're done with the greenhouse. I am so happy I finally have my greenhouse. It's so beautiful. It's like a little house in the prairie. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was very different for both you and I. So <laughs> it was one that I really enjoyed. And it's been really hot, but you know what? It was worth every minute of it. Now, for the contest rules, for the giveaway, I wanted to make it as easy as possible so that everybody can enter. And here are the rules. Number one, on this video, you must leave a comment. Aside from whatever other comment you like to leave, you must leave a comment, um, not a comment, but just your name, first and last name, and at the very end put, entering the giveaway, all right? Nothing else. You can add emojis if you want, but nothing else. If you wanna talk about this video, then do that in a separate, you know, add another comment in reference to the, the content of this video. Then you must go into Instagram and you must be one of my subscribers on my Instagram and also subscribe to Quick Tense Instagram. And you must share it. I'm, I'm gonna actually add like, um, on mine, I'm gonna put like the giveaway. And in that one where you see the little sign that says um, Quick Tent Giveaway, that's where you're going to like and share and also put your name. Cause this is the way how I know, you know, between the YouTube and Instagram, they co coexist together. So that way I can make sure that you liked and you share. <laughs> so there's no cheating. <laughs> so you, again, I'm gonna repeat it. Cause I know some of you guys may be asking me questions. And if I can't get to your questions before the giveaway, I, I don't wanna feel bad about that. So again, I'm gonna repeat it very clearly. You must leave your first and last name under the comments of this video with a tag and after your name that says entering the giveaway that's it if you want to leave a comment in reference to what you saw the tent and anything else do it in a separate comment under this video but in a separate comment so that way it's easier for me to see the names all right and according to each name that comes in that's the, num the number i'm going to tag in sequence so let's say teresita alvarez is the first one she's number one uh daniel rodriguez that's number two so that way i have a number next to that person that i can use on google count because i'm going to use google and i will film it when i'm doing it so you guys can see that it's all legit and clean <laughs> and then you must go on my instagram account which i'm going to move aside and there's all the information there. My Instagram account, Quick Tense Instagram account, and um, I will show you, oh, here, that's even better. And there's a tent, <laughs> and that's the tent that we're giving away. Okay, so it's very, very easy. Just go into our account. Under, I'm gonna put an ad with a Quick Tense again, like I said, and you're gonna put the same thing that you did in YouTube, you're gonna do it on my, uh, on my Instagram. First and last name, entering the giveaway. And that one, you must be a follower, you must be subscribed. So I am gonna check if you subscribe and you must go on Quick Tent and subscribe as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. 
I don't think I'm, I'm missing anything else. <laughs> it's my first giveaway, guys, so please cope with me. <laughs> I'm, this is very new for me, and I'm excited about it, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous that I don't, you know, I don't leave any information out. So I think that's pretty clear and articulate. Um, that's all the information. This is the, the, the actual greenhouse. It's a smaller one compared to mine because we wanted to make it uh, fair for everybody. Not everyone has a space to put a big greenhouse. So I spoke to Chase over at Quick Tent and we agreed that maybe it would be a good call to do a, um, a giveaway of a smaller greenhouse so that way it reaches a broader audience. So good luck guys. I hope that um, whoever wins that you make good use of this quick tent. And by the way, we had spoken about um, about possibly if you're building your quick tent to send me a video through my email, uh, naturenell1111 at gmail.com, uh, showing me a video, quick video and photos of you building the quick tent because I will use it on my, on my channel. So that is a must. If you do win, whoever wins, you are contracted <laughs> to do a mini video or photos. It doesn't have to be a video. You could ju just take different photos of you building, like the process, exactly what we did. You know, nothing as elaborate as what we did, but the process of you building uh, the quick tent uh, greenhouse. So that way I can share it with the rest of the audience. All right, so let's push this away. <laughs> also, I will be giving away, well, I'm not giving away, Quick Tent has extended a discount. I can't remember from the top of my head, so I'll probably put it under here how much the discount is. For you guys who, if you don't win or you don't care to join uh, or do the giveaway, but you are interested in Quick Tent, you can get an extended discount. Um, I think he said Nature Now. That, uh, in the discount code, just put Nature Now. But I will verify it and put it under here. All right, so. Quick Tent has been extremely generous, very kind, and they've given bonus upon bonus. So thank you, Quick Tent, so much for making this possible, for making more, more space in my yard to spend more money on orchids, <laughs> and for thinking of my, my, um, my, my viewers. That's very, very kind, and I truly, truly appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, guys, I have a little bonus. We're going to go back there. I'm going to show you what I got at the um, Ophi's last um, show. It's only two things. So it's quick and and fast. It's not going to take him up <laughs> that long. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so early in the morning. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in the greenhouse. All right. So let's start here inside because this is where I keep my Hoyas. And as you probably figured out, I did take the Hoya from Judeli's nursery uh i just loved it because it's kind of dark in here so i wish i can get a little more light but let's see yeah it is focusing ish i loved this hoya because it had these cute little red flowers and it has so many buds now i don't know the name they didn't put up let me see let's take it out here let's make this better yes this is better all right, I don't know the name. It doesn't have a tag. I didn't see any tags in there. So if you guys who are big Hoya fans uh, know what this is, uh, let me know because I want to tag it. And it, it, it leaves it leaves this, like, this little, hold on. Oh my God, this is going to be a task. Uh, there we go. It has these cute little button flowers in red and yellow. And it secretes like a, like a jelly type of thing. I gotta tell you, I'm not very fond of the fragrance. <laughs> it's not a very, if I, if I were to be honest with you, the fragrance is that of sour milk. Very strange. <laughs> but I love the little flowers, the little clusters of flowers. And this Hoya, from what I was told, it does not like to be watered too much. If you can look at the leaves, it's very succulent um, type of leaf. They're pretty thick. So it's obviously a, a Hoya that holds a lot of water and it doesn't need to be watered every day. So unlike some of my Hoyas back here, this one I'm not going to be watering as much. 
but it's beautiful. I love the, the leaf, the leaf uh, on this Hoya, how it clusters and it's so, it's just like a rich type of, uh, of leaf compared to my other Hoyas that are a little more lanky, but this one is just more compacted. That's the word I was looking for, the compacted leaves. But look at this, guys. Look at all those little flowers. Is that not adorable? So I just had to have it. Now, this was their sample. They weren't selling this. Um, I kind of batted my eyelashes, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. And uh, I, I was like, I really, really like that Hoya. And I've been collecting Hoyas. And so the wife was the one that gave the okay because she is boss lady <laughs> and she was super sweet and super kind and she says I, I will sell it to you if you really like it you can take it with you and uh she sold this to me i believe it was 50 dollars. which listen for a hoya this size blooming this much for 50 she pretty much gave it away to me it's the hoyas down here are really expensive i don't know how how expensive they are in your side of your neck of the woods but down here in miami they just gone really high up in price and some of them like for one leaf you pay 50 bucks so i was very grateful that she, she first of all that she sold me the sample and that she gave me such a good price now let's go to the next one now i know i just said that it's very early in the morning i am recording the following day after we did the tent because honestly <laughs> we were too tired i mean look how pretty it looks in the morning we we're just way too tired or at least I was too tired to go ahead and, and do the closing and get all this information. But look how beautiful. And I noticed that the material is starting to stretch a little better. So I guess when it, the longer it sits, the better. And I added this little tile walk-in area. So I'm like totally, totally in love with my greenhouse. It's just so awesome. <laughs> all right. So here, let's go. I don't want to... Now you're going to see all my Vandas hanging here because we are cutting trees. Look at this. It's a little messy back here because we're in the process of it. But look at that. Oh, finally. Oh, we got really dark. We're finally opening some air. Now we're not going to cut all the trees. We're just opening that area to let in more light. Um, and also because the trees, the mango trees got so tall, so tall that... It was a nesting haven for squirrels. <laughs> and I love squirrels, but not when they start eating my flowers. Now to my left, of course you knew I was gonna take this. It's the Dendrobium, <laughs> as I thought Joshua said, enchilada, <laughs> spatulata. And it's the antelope Dendrobium. And I just couldn't leave without this. Look at this. It is so beautiful and it has so many curly um, uh, antelopes. I am in awe with this syndrobium. Now, when I had asked him the price he gave me, I was like, I said, you know what? Off camera, I'm going to re-question that price because that doesn't sound right. He had said $30. There's no way a dendrobium of any kind of this size is going to be 30. It's just too low. And I'm like, um, could you check with your wife <laughs> on this dendrobium and see, um, cause I'm interested in taking this one and, and see if she will sell me the Hoya. And sure enough, this dendrobium was $75, but she left it to me for 50. So not, not 75. I think it was 65, but she left it for 50. So again, she was very, very generous. And with the amount of spikes that this dendrobium has, the healthy condition that it's in, I was like, my God, $30. I felt bad. I was like, no, <laughs> I think it's a little too low, low of a price, you know, for something so beautiful like this. And, you know, I want to be fair. I'm not one of these people that, you know, that's going to try to jip you off <clears throat> from, from your orchid. So thank God that I asked again because they would have lost some money on this. <laughs> At least half of it. So, um, oh, it's, the wind is moving. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to focus on so you can see. Because really, these flowers are so so small and dainty that when they move just a little bit with the wind, they go out of focus. 
So yes, guys, I got this spatulatum. I think it's spatulatum. I think I'm saying that correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, Josh. <laughs> I know you're watching this. <laughs> Oh, look how pretty. There's a pretty angle. So, yes. This was my haul. I was not expecting to take anything with me. But it tagged along. Now, I would love to show you a lot of things that are happening here in Bloom. But I will leave that for the next um, episode. I'm going to do a mini What's in Bloom. All right, guys. That is really it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please join in the giveaway. It's going to be fun. The more, the merrier. Uh, neurotic dog next door. I'm sorry for the barking in the background. I, I, I waited, but he'll be like this all day till nighttime. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for sticking by. I am Nelson. You're watching Nature Now. And remember to always keep it green. See you next time. And good luck.